Hey friends, it's the Garlic Bread Warlord, Nick Leafy, and it is a soccer over there hot drop. Now, this is a winter transfer special. Yes, winter transfer is not until January. We'll be bringing it up repeatedly. But there's stuff that keeps kicking out in the news that I want to talk about because, hey, look, it's the holidays. I mean, work's super slow. Janice from accounting is not hounding you every five minutes for you to turn in your receipts from your previous business trip. Steve down uh, the way is is not trying to send you everything in the world for you to click on and blow your computer up with computer viruses. So, hey, let, let's just take some time and listen to podcasts and chill out while we can avoid doing Excel spreadsheets as long as possible. But look, according to Calcio Mercado, AC Milan, you're going to hear this name a lot, are looking to snag unhappy midfielder Arturo Vidal from Barcelona on a short-term loan deal. Now, go back and look at the transactions for the past year for AC Milan. Almost all of them are loans with an option to buy. Now, this is what happens when financial fair play is hanging over your head like the sword of Damocles. Okay, You have to keep, remember, you have to balance the books or have the financial plan to present to UEFA to say, hey, look, we're not spending like we have monopoly money over here. Which means that Milan will be in a unique position. Almost all of their deals recently constructed have been loans with options to buy. This will be no different. Now, again, a loan with an option to buy doesn't mean that Milan has to keep Arturo Vidal or Zlatan Ibrahimovic when that loan is done. They can send them back to the parent club in which the parent club can then say, hey, look, our player has demonstrated tremendous value at this other big-time club. We are upping his transfer valuation. Pay us the money. Get the man. But... If you are the the, play, the team that has received the player in the initial loan, typically that option to buy is the most financially beneficial way, for lack of a better term, to get a player at a good cost. Because the, the other team, the parent club, wants to get that player off their books and they will make it worth your while, typically by saying, hey, look, if you exercise the option, the terms will be far more beneficial to you. Okay, The problems for Milan extend beyond the balance sheet, however. The winter window is typically for patching holes in the club. Maybe you get that one unhappy player like Arturo Vidal who is looking to leave their parent club. But typically it's to try to bring in players to supplement your squad for that crush of games toward the end of the season, right? Uh, maybe you tweak a little bit here or there. You bring in somebody that, uh, you know, fill a spot that's currently for an injured player. It's not for patching holes in the Titanic. (laughs) And that's where Milan is right now. Uh, Already down at Bonaventura and Biglia, Milan will, in my opinion, need to spend at least $60 at minimum to stay within the top six of Serie A. If they fail to land Vidal, look for a shock move, in my opinion, for Miguel Amarone. They need speedy midfielders who can play centrally or out wide. Almiron fits both. And at 30 to $35 million valuation from Atlanta United, that is well within the transfer budget for Milan and most European clubs. If we go back and we look at the teams where Almiron could fit in, and I'm going to do a special transfer for just Miguel Almiron and another hot drop later on, uh, which I break down all the teams I think he could go to and which ones he would fit. But I think that he would, spoiler alert, fit really well with AC Milan. I'm just throwing that out there. The big question is, can Milan get Zlatan Ibrahimovic out of MLS? You saw the news about Zlatan. I saw the news about Zlatan. Zlatan does not play on turf. Yeah, lion roars, whatever sound effects you want to throw in. Zlatan still feels that he can play at an international level, right? Remember this last, uh, the previous World Cup, he was trying to get himself into the Swedish national team. It really didn't work out for him. So he had to take a gamble, either go to China and make walls of cash playing on garbage fields, or you come to the U.S. and play and have a shot at doing the one thing that you really want to do, which is what, kids? Build your brand. And that's right. Los Angeles, what's their record? Nah, don't care. Who's coaching them? Nah, don't care. Never heard of the guy anyway. What can I do there? Build my brand, baby. And that's exactly what Zlatan's been doing. But after half a year in MLS, complaining about the quality of talent around him, not making the playoffs, Zlatan could be moving to the door. Okay? 
Now, the key thing to watch here will not be if Milan goes to move for Ibrahimovic, right? Like if if it happens, it's going to happen quickly on their end. Okay, that that's great. But don't look for any kind of flowery statements coming from Milan saying, oh, yes, uh, we are absolutely looking to make that move. And don't look at the LA Galaxy to come out and say, yes, we absolutely want to make that move. They've done this before with David Beckham when they said, hey, look, this move to Milan is great for David Beckham. It's great for the LA Galaxy. It's great for MLS. And it's great for Milan. Well, that came back to bite them later on. So, of course, everyone's going to say, no, this deal isn't happening, except for the player and the agent. Mino Raiola, his agent, is probably the most notorious agent in all of European football. Something's working here. I guarantee you, Mino pulling the strings, the deal can get done quickly if they wanted to get done. It's just all about what his contract with the LA Galaxy looks like on the back end. Is there an option for Zlatan to leave early if a certain club comes calling for him? Maybe, might be, who knows? But the issue will come down to contract and time gone. Because if Milan tries to execute, like we talked about before, alone with an option to buy, I don't know if that's really going to float with MLS. MLS may say, look, you got to buy the player outright. In which case, that would torpedo the deal. Zlatan allegedly claims that he wants to come back to MLS. He feels like he has unfinished business here. But if I mean, when you look at the structure of the deal that was proposed, it's a short-term, six-month contract with an option for another year. I think that if the deal happens, it would be end up becoming a full transfer to AC Milan, in which then he would leave and go back to his home club of Malmo and then retire there. I, I just, I, if I had to read the tea leaves, I think that's how this move would happen should he go to Milan. But I, I'm, I'm just saying, I know everybody and their brothers out there saying it's a done deal. I don't think this deal is as close to being done as people are talking about it. Leonardo, the person in charge of, well, Re- rebuilding the Titanic. I don't know. It's not even like raising the Titanic. The guy's got to raise it, patch it, and get it sailing again. Good luck. But he has so many issues right now that Zlatan Ibrahimovic is so far down the priority list that in the winter window, if it happens, great. But if it's anything more than a free or a loan with an option to buy, I don't see it happening. So what is a loan with an option to buy? Okay. Loan with an option to buy, remember friends? You loan, try it out. You may like it. If you do, baby doll, here's a sweet, sweet price for you. Obligation to buy means, hey, look, this is nothing more than a delayed transfer payment. You're going to take the player. He's not coming back. We don't want him. Here's the terms. Take it or leave it. Now, what do both of these deals allow you to do? It allows you to structure the transfer in such a way that you as the the club getting the player don't have to take an asteroid strike from finance, okay? Loans are the best thing out there for bankrupt clubs and clubs with salary caps. Remember, we've talked about this. Just keep this in mind as these deals start coming fast and furious in the winter window. This could be a very busy winter window. I know for Atlanta United fans, it certainly will be. But in the end, I think Miguel Almiron goes to AC Milan or Tottenham Hotspur. We'll have another show on him and where I explain all the reasons why those are my top two destinations for him coming up later on. But in the meantime, good friends, that's it for the hot drop. What is it, about close to 10 minutes? That gets you there? But there's lots of great content here on the SDH Network for you to peruse and go through. We're going to keep dropping these. Let me know if you like them. At Nick Leafy on Twitter. That's N-I-C-K-A-L-I-F-F-I. Or you can just search Garlic Bread Warlord and I'll be right there. And remember, friends, if you have an empty seat or four empty seats at your Thanksgiving dinner and you have lots of gravy, my friend, you call me. I'll be there. Mucha, mucha euro, y'all. It's Nick Alifi, Colorado Warlord Soccer over there. See you later. Bye bye.